I'm, I'm pleased to be given the opportunity to uh, speak about my um, research, um, which I just commenced here uh, in um, Cambridge, and which will focus on two um, Judeo-Arabic medical manuscripts, which were found um, in Armenia. So before, um, before I'm starting um, the talk about the main research, uh, it's, uh, perhaps it's good to give a very brief uh, introduction to the museum uh, where the manuscripts were found. Um, so the Madena Deran, Master of Mashtots um, Institute uh, of um, Research Institute of um, Ancient Manuscripts is one of the biggest um, institutes, um, museums of um, Armenia which holds uh, more than 23,000 uh, documents written in different languages, Arabic, Persian, Greek, Ethiopian, Syrian. Of course, uh, the biggest uh, collections are in Armenian. Um, uh, about um, like almost all all um, subjects uh, from the fifth through twentieth centuries, and which have been stored um, in the museum for centuries. Uh, the, the core of the Islamic uh, manuscripts, to which also this very small corpus of Judeo-Arabic manuscripts belong to, um, exists in, in uh, those brought from the Lazarev Institute, uh, which were moved to Armenia only by the decision of the Soviet Union government in 1925. Uh, and this heritage later on was of course supplemented by different uh, individual collections, and this process seems to uh, be going on because we got uh, our last uh, collection of Arabic manuscripts uh, in 2011 and up until now we have uh, 1200 um, Arabic manuscripts uh, catalogued. Uh, the Arabic manuscripts um, uh, are, are very different and include almost every, every subject representing interest for um, Orientalists, religious, um, studies of both Islam and Christianity, philosophy, history, uh, linguistics, um, Quranic scripts. Um, it's, it even holds eight, eight volumes of Al Ghazali's revival of religious uh, sciences. And uh, unlike the Arabic manuscripts of the museum, um, which have always been um, in the center of different uh, projects and studies, um, no attempt has been made to, to study uh, the Judeo-Arabic um, corpus, uh, which comprises only two uh, medical manuscripts. And the corpus was discovered during my um, research uh, in the museum. So um, the, the research the gen generally uh, in the field of Judeo-Arabic medical manuscripts began um, with right after the discovery of uh, Cairo Gediza, um, documents in the late uh, 19th century and uh, the, yeah, though uh, the inv investigation of medical manuscripts drawn the attention of only a few scholars and the first stages were made uh, here at Cambridge which, which holds the biggest collection of Judeo-Arabic medical manuscripts, the Tyler Schachte um, Geniza collection uh, and most of the manuscripts date back to the 12th centuries uh, and are not studied sufficiently. So, um, these 3,000 fragments found in Cairo Geniza attest that Jews were um, involved in almost uh, all aspects of, um, of life, including the medical milieu of the Muslim and uh, Christian societies. And these uh, 1,600 uh, medical letters are an important source for studying an interaction uh, of the Hebrew and Arabic medical traditions. And the languages in which the manuscripts were written are also important to an understanding the relationship between Hebrew and Arabic medicine and the transmission of medical literature. And uh, yeah, but both Jewish and Muslim doctors follow the Greco-Roman tradition uh, of medicine as, as transmitted in um, Arabic, uh, Arabic and as you might imagine the, the subject uh, and um, the subject matter of medical material uh, found in Geniza um, is very wide. Uh, those dealing with proper medicine, uh, with the um, description of drugs, uh, household remedies, Quasi-medical subjects such as astrology, um, 
divination, magic, and uh, lastly, miscellaneous fragments dealing with social and ethical aspects of the medical profession, uh, such as doctor-doctor and doctor-patient uh, uh, relationships. Um, and those two uh, Judeo-Arabic medical manuscripts uh, found in Armenia, they belong to the practical um, medical um, literature. Um, so, those um, few scholars uh, who um, initiated the uh, uh, exploration of Judeo-Arabic medical manuscripts of, of Cairo Geniza, they also um, set uh, the standards, the um, approaches um, of uh, modern studies on medical manuscripts, according to which any work um, pertaining to the study of unpublished or unedited manuscripts must namely contain a proper translation and transliteration, um, include, um, deal with different aspects uh, of the manuscript and its cultural context, including uh, descriptions of pre-existing related materials as a social and cultural background uh, of the text and analyze its place uh, in the history of medieval medicine and uh, linguistics. So um, the, two, the two manuscripts uh, on which my uh, research uh, will focus on, uh, as I said, uh, they, they belong to um, yeah, uh, the practical medical literature. Uh, the first one um, is, is a monograph, uh, 86 pages um, on phlebotomy or facet uh, in Arabic, um, which is uh, written in um, 1826, uh, which is the copy uh, of uh, a very famous physician and sage, uh, Al-Akfani, Egyptian, Egyptian physician uh, from the 14th centuries. And yeah, it's... Um, um, it's amazing that we're able to um, find uh, the earliest Arabic version uh, in the library of the National Library of Egypt. Uh, um, yeah, after my arrival in Cambridge. So um, and <laughs> uh, yeah, I will just uh, give a very brief uh, um, overview of the second manuscript, which is again a monograph on alopecia. Um, any, uh, any dates, um, names of author uh, are not uh, identified, so my research will focus on the identification of this uh, second manuscript, placing them in the wider history of medical manuscripts and their, yeah, the so sociocultural context in which they were produced. Uh, the manuscript will be studied also from linguistic perspective. Yeah. And yeah, so, uh, I, I wanted to finish um, with Goetin's um, yeah, quote that there is enough material for uh, <laughs> medical and yeah.